It's Wednesday, the 7th of June 2017, and we are pleased to bring you today's edition of Local News. Welcome. In the news, Emergency Center for Ambulances will soon be operational nationwide. Minister of Justice and Police sacked. New manager at the Central Market wants to improve the market. Dumps for raw food in Para are a danger for the residents. I am Randy Kromedi Harjo, and your local news begins now. The Emergency Center for Ambulances will soon be operational nationwide. And the nursing staff and drivers of ambulances will be trained to make the work more effective. From the 5th till the 9th of June, the staff of the Surkat Ambulance Service are trained in the field of ambulance service. Surkat Ambulance Service is run by Ruel Brug. One of the new developments is having a 24-hour alarm number, says nurse Shekita Durga. Minister of Justice and Police Eugene van der Zan has submitted his resignation yesterday. He did this after President Dees Reboutersen asked for the former minister to make his portfolio available. Since the Justice Minister's appointment almost two months ago, society has been faced with several incidents. During a press conference on Monday, Minister van der Zan made some accusations and suspicions towards leading government officials, including the National Security Bureau. The above-mentioned allegations are unfounded and moreover untrue, says the National Information Institute. Due to the developed situation, the President has, in regard to this delicate issue, held consultations with Vice President Ashwin Adin, Speaker of Parliament Jennifer Simons, Leader of the NDP in Parliament Andre Misikaba, and Attorney General Roy Bainach Pandey at the Presidential Palace. In a personal interview, President Dees Reboutersen asked Minister of Justice and Police Eugene van der Zand for his resignation. The Vice President has the task of making arrangements for the immediate replacement at the Ministry of Justice and Police. The Central Market have a better look, says the new market manager John Lecton. After his own orientation, Lecton has discovered some unevenness that need to be addressed structurally. The financial problem is one of the priority points. Not all sellers are satisfied with the approach of, to the rental rates of a boot within the central market. According to Lecton, it has been proven in other markets that with the income, a number of goals can be achieved. The central market of Suriname should also follow the positive examples, according to Lecton. Indeed, the market has a number of plans still underway this year. Meanwhile, adjustments have already been made in certain areas in order to promote the new direction. According to Lecton, there are many new insights to make a visit to the market a pleasant event. Spare domes in Para are a danger to the citizens and the infrastructure. Public roads to and from the domes of raw wood are damaged by heavy duty trucks. Residents experience noise pollution and the tires of the trucks leave mud on the public road, polluting the surface of the road. The verge of the roads are also used to load the truck or as parking area by the trucks. This causes not only damages to the verges but also to the water pipes and other utilities. According to the administrative service, wood storage is not mandatory. But the district commissioner of Para, Arman Jurel, wants to curb these actions. Jurel will soon talk with the relevant players to find solutions for these issues. All operators of raw wood dumps are called to apply for a noise pollution law permit. As for now, this is your local news of today. Thank you for joining us until tomorrow.